Aaron, the room was packed today and everybody had a question for the city. Welcome to our special city council meeting on Wednesday, March 7th. After a months long investigation, Carmel City Council has decided that while Steve Dallas did do something wrong, it's not going to cost him his job. The city of Carmel does not, in the opinion of the city attorney's office, have any civil or criminal liability as a result of the allegations made against the mayor. In December of last year, one woman came forward to complain the mayor sexually harassed her. The claim launched an independent investigation in which 21 total complaints were filed by six different parties. But the city says none of these complaints reached the level of sexual harassment. We have rendered a decision that we believe is in the best interest of this community to be able to move forward and we have delivered a reprimand to the mayor in closed session. Following the announcement, community members lined up to ask the council questions, including the original complainant. Hello, I'm Kim Stemmler. I'm the one that started. Um, and I have a question. Stemmler wanted to know why she was not provided anonymity during the process. Others wanted to know why the investigation was only focused on sexual harassment, something that was not made clear to people who complained about threatening and retaliatory behavior on the part of Dallas. If people want to come forward now with hostile or threatening or retaliatory accusations against the mayor, who should they talk to? Their lawyer. While City Attorney Glenn Mazingo specified on Wednesday that the scope of the investigation was only sexual harassment, he did release another tidbit of discovery, claiming that during the process, the city uncovered that Dallas was the victim of a conspiracy plot. They witnessed the fact that an individual from Salinas was brought into the city of Carmel, paid $100, and was told to attack the mayor, while others would photograph that attack, showing that the mayor was involved in some kind of barroom brawl. Muzingo said a portion of the plot was carried out and vowed to investigate before handing over findings to the district attorney's office. Dallas was a no-show to the meeting, but counselors assured the public that the mayor would be making an apology at the next city council meeting. Now we take him at his word that he will do better for this community. He deeply cares about Carmel, and we do too. One question we did not get answered at this press conference was the total cost of this investigation. The city attorney says that the initial invoice from the independent investigator was $25,000, but they're still adding up all the charges, and that price tag is expected to go up. Erin. All right, Caitlin, thank you.